as we move into a level of practice now, I want you to also be aware of other, mm, another cause of anxiety. The earth is alive. The earth is conscious. And every year, the earth energy pattern increases. The vibration of the earth increases. And if your vibration is not increasing to match the earth, there's a low level anxiety you're living in because you're not matched with the progressive universe and the so-called heavenly bodies that are increasing in speed. We have to keep up with that. So if we're not, there's a kind of an anxiety, a kind of a fear, because the earth is becoming more conscious. So just be aware of that as well in terms of underlying a feeling of uncomfortability, you see, that people are, 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 are having, not only because the news media is giving us the lowest common denominator of the human experience. You would think if you, you look at the news that everybody's out to kill and steal and rob and maim. It's not true. Most people go to bed, they want safety for their family and, their, and, and themselves. They're not trying to rob and steal, but we would think everyone is like that based on the news media. So there's that, and then there's the earth itself that's becoming more conscious. But you are in this class to lift your frequency, to expand your awareness, so that you're not only keeping up with the planet that you're living on as an earthling, but that you are embracing the evolutionary impulse within you to become more and never less than your true self. So let's turn within in this moment. Close the outer eye, the outer eyes, the prosthetics to the inner eye. And let us sit in the awareness that where we're sitting and where we are right now is always, this is where we always want it to be. We're not trying to get anywhere other than right here and right now. As a matter of fact, take a deep inhalation, release a sound of relief. Ah, this is where I've always wanted to be, right here, right now. I'm not trying to get anywhere. I'm not trying to run to or from my past. I'm not trying to run to a future. Future unfolds from this moment of coherence with fundamental harmony. We tense up the body for a moment, shoulders up. We release. We tense up the body for a moment. Tense up everything, put a smile on your face. Release. One more time, tense, release. Slight smile on your face so that tonic chemicals flow through the body. We're right here and right now. Now as you become aware of your mind in the incessant thought forms that run through it. Become aware of a worry that has transmuted itself, perhaps, into a possible worst case scenario. That when you think about this area of your life, the mind kind of starts painting pictures of what would happen if this so-called destructive or negative thing came true. A scenario of worst case possibility. Just notice it, don't, don't judge it, don't resist it. Just notice the emotional pattern that it brings with it. As you're noticing this scenario of worst case possibilities, notice the emotion that's under it. You might even notice the thought or the belief that's under it. Just notice the emotional content. And notice that you're actually using the law 
of mind in action and in reverse. You're actually rehearsing what you don't want to happen. We're not talking about having a lack of preparation for things in our life. We're talking about mentally and emotionally rehearsing things we do not want to experience. So just notice a scenario that is often repeated, sometimes so close to you that it's not really conscious at times, but it still carries a toxic chemical residue where the body temple, the mental body, the emotional body, and the subtle bodies are concerned. Just notice that. Remember, worry is the emotional rehearsing and unconscious praying for things you don't want to happen. We want to break that habit. So as you are in your interiority now, your inner awareness, let us begin to replace the worst case scenario with a best case scenario. That is, whatever it is you're worried about, consider, begin to consider, first a picture of what if something wonderful would occur in this area of your life? What is the best possible outcome where this previous worst case scenario existed, what is the best possible outcome that you can think of right now? What if something magnificent were to take place? What if something wonderful were to occur? What if a miracle were to happen? Now, as you're asking that what if question, allow the feeling the feeling to also come into play here. What would it feel like if something magnificent were to take place? Something beautiful, something wonderful, something marvelous, something that previously you were afraid to even dare to think at this level. We are replacing a worst case scenario with first a picture, and then a feeling of possibility. Feel into that now. You're giving yourself permission to shift the groove cut in your mind. You may have had a worry groove, an anxiety groove about the future anxiousness about the future until it has become a habit. We want to create a new habit. As you look at that worst case scenario and the emotional pattern behind it and under it, what is the best thing that could happen that you can imagine right now? See it? Now feel it. Inhale. Release. Inhale. Release. Inhale. Suspend the breath at the apex. Let that feeling expand. The feeling that comes from the best case scenario let it expands so you're with the feeling of it. The body is being flooded with the feeling. The tonic chemicals are happening in the body temple because of the feeling. Now release with the sigh of ah. Ah. This feeling is now replacing the anxiety, the anxiousness, the fear. And this feeling is now free to manifest even that which is beyond your imaginal realm. It starts with the picture, starts with imagination. You come to a feeling, 
and then the feeling takes you beyond your imagination. There are infinite possibilities in the field of infinite potential that you're now activating. You are taking back your mind where it has been hijacked by the world of fear and lack and disease, separation. You're taking it back, reprogramming it, first with picture, and then with feeling. That outer eye still closed. Take a deep inhalation. Suspend to the apex. Catch the feeling that your imagination is giving you. The feeling that all is well. The feeling that everything is unfolding perfectly. The feeling of a scenario that's you don't even have to know how it is to happen. You can just see it and feel it. Release. Ah. <sighs> Let the feeling of more good than you've ever imagined take over. Mentally say with me, I am available to more good than I've ever imagined. Say it in your mind. I am available to more good than I've ever imagined. We're taking back the mind where it may have been hijacked by worry. And we're allowing the feeling to develop a level of coherence around the frequency of the earth, which is always speeding up and expanding. Feel into that for just a few seconds. It is in this awareness that there is now a living evocation. We have become evocateurs of a bright future. Evocateurs of an activation of the field of infinite potential, which is even now beyond our imagination, but we are vibrationally up to it so that worry and anxiety is replaced with enthusiasm, courage, and a feeling tone of joy. This is how we walk on the planet, now. And so it is, and so we let it be. As you slowly open the eyes, remember I've been reminding you that we're dealing with life challenges. Whenever one of these challenges emerges, you can go back to any one of these meditations and practice it over and over and over again until your vibrational set point is increased and ultimately stabilized. And you're living from a new set point for the delivery of your gifts and talents and capacities. Have a bright day.